I had my first experience driving as early as I could, legally. And I had a driving lesson on my 17th birthday and I was excited about it. Halfway through my series of lessons, I thought, what on earth am I doing? Polluting the city even more. I was born in the middle of England in a place called Leicester. I grew up with my mother and my grandma and my older brother and sister. And we didn't have enough money to have a car. I really looked up to James Bond as a kid, like many other kids in England. And he had the best cars and he had the most beautiful women, supposedly. And I wished to be like him. So I passed my exam while I was a teenager. And since then, I've probably driven less than five miles. And I see that as an accomplishment. So many of the things that we see as normal aren't normal when we look worldwide. In the USA, there's 816 cars per thousand people. In India, there's just 28 cars per thousand people. So for me, not having a car is kind of like an equality stance because not everyone in the world can have a car. I think that's pretty sure. They might be able to, maybe next year everyone in the world could have a car, but the world will be done for by the end of the year. So if you really want global equality, you've got to move away from using cars, and that includes electric cars. There's not enough minerals on the earth. People have no idea what you can carry by bike. Like carpets, wood burners, trees, other bicycles. And I show them, look, you can carry all this. This is organic food that was going to be rejected because of blemishes or looks or size or ripeness. And uh, we distribute it to people who don't have access to such food. Look at the mural. It looks fantastic in this light. I live in Beaverton and I ride into Portland a few times a week and coming back I usually get the max because there's not so much space on the road for me to feel comfortable and safe. I volunteer in Leicester when I'm there with an organisation called Leicester Wheels for All and they provide cycling opportunities for people of all abilities. So they focus on people with Down syndrome, with Alzheimer's, on the autistic spectrum with dementia, blind people, people who aren't able to use their legs or arms. We even have bikes that can take wheelchairs. I'd love to see this in Portland. Portland's supposed to be the biking city and I think it's great if people of all abilities get to experience riding a bike. It's a simple pleasure. Yeah.